It has been a year like no other for the Council's housing service and our tenants. When COVID-19 hit and the first lockdown began, we had to put all our normal work on hold and concentrate on making sure critical services were available to those who needed them most. Let's reflect on some of the work we have done over the last 12 months. Our housing staff carried out over 8,000 welfare telephone checks on tenants during lockdown to make sure everyone had the food and the medicine and support they needed. Our repair service carried out 3,800 emergency repairs on your homes during lockdown to keep them safe and weather tight. Our trades team rose to the challenge of working in these very different conditions brilliantly and their efforts were greatly appreciated by tenants who needed emergency work done. Between March and June 2020, our housing options and support team dealt with 3,300 inquiries from people who needed housing support or advice and arranged critical housing for over 90 people and families. Our private sector access team worked to find accommodation for another 55 households during lockdown. Our locality housing teams were set up with equipment so that they continue to provide vital support to tenants while working from home. Our locality team staff also stepped up to help out their communities when they needed them most. For example, staff from our North Locality Housing Office took over the running of the Blair Gowdy Food Bank at the height of the pandemic to make sure vulnerable people in the local community continue to have a supply of food. And they delivered around 450 food parcels. Staff coordinated the community response to COVID outbreaks in their areas, such as the one at the Two Sisters in Cuparangas. They made sure people who were self-isolating had the food and support they needed. Sheltered housing staff carried out daily telephone welfare checks on tenants and spoke to them face-to-face -face at their doors at a social distance to keep them socially involved. All staff made sure tenants had the food, supplies and medicine they needed. Some housing staff were redeployed to support other council services, such as waste services and social care, to make sure critical work could continue. Our program of new built homes had to be paused, but we were able to restart work at the end of June 2020. Earlier this year, we delivered 12 new council homes in Migo. Major new council housing developments in Skun and Hunting Tower are also on track to be delivered this year. Our caretaking team worked on the front line through periods of lockdown and increased cleaning works in multi-story blocks to keep tenants and residents safe. We increased our tenancy sustainment fund to recognize the financial impact COVID-19 had on our tenants and made nearly 500 payments to people in need. We carried out our rent setting process late last year. The rent option voted by our tenants will allow us to put in place extra support for tenants to tackle social isolation, digital exclusion, and financial challenges facing tenants. Through Connecting Scotland, we secured just under 200 internet-enabled devices and identified 13 digital champions to support tenants to become digitally included. Our tenant and resident participation team made sure tenants could continue to have a say on their services by taking their meetings online. Successful virtual forums meetings and coffee mornings have allowed tenants to keep in touch. Finally, we would like to thank our tenants for the patience, understanding and encouragement we have shown our staff over the last year. In the most difficult of times, their kind words and messages of thanks have kept our staff going. Thank you.